have gathered. Connell. John and Lydia, it's been about six weeks since Megan Marone disappeared in Berkshire County. At today's vigil, which concluded about an hour ago, friends and family talked about what kind of person she is, and especially talking about her poetry and her love for poetry, and how often she would go down to the waterfront in Troy and write on her typewriter, creating original poems. And speaking of original poems, some of her students read their poems about Miss Marone and her disappearance at today's vigil. Now, since her disappearance on on March 27th, law enforcement from multiple jurisdictions have been searching the woods near Lee, Massachusetts, but so far have come up fruitless in their search for Megan Marone. Now, Marone's colleague Becky Wilson says the vigil today was not about Marone not being here, but rather to focus on the idea of the hope that someday she may come home safe to her friends, her family, and her school. If there's one thing Ms. Marone has always asked of her students, it's to question binaries, to question the simple read that things are either this or they are that. Ms. Marone is missing. And she's also right here today with all of us, imprinted on our souls as all of our best teachers are. According to the Berkshire Mountain Search and Rescue Team, which has been helping law enforcement search for Megan Marone, they will continue their search around the woods of Lee, Massachusetts next week. Live at Shaker High School in Colony, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.